welcome to Hollywood Studios. I have my new ears on, which I got last night. My hair, I hate it, but we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about it. And I have my new little earrings in that I got last that I got yesterday afternoon. Is it gonna focus? There you go. My new little Minnie Mouse carols. And we're ready. Mother's getting off the bus. And we're ready to live in the movies. Let's zoom. So we have the Skyliner. It's the first time I've ever seen the Skyliner. We're gonna go on it on Sunday, I believe. So we are assuming that most people are going to be sprinting to Galaxy's Edge first. I assume. I could be wrong. We are going to go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway first and then we're gonna head to the back and try and get on Slinky Dog and then we're gonna go to Galaxy's Edge and we're just going to understand that there's gonna be long wait times but it'll be fine. Minnie's Runaway Railway was so good. It made all the better for us only having to queue for literally 10 minutes. Um, but any tips, I didn't hear anyone tell me this, take your ears off because it gets really windy. Um, and I've just been checking wait times and I'm already changing the plan. We were supposed to go to Slinky Dog now, but Slinky Dog's an 80 minute wait already. And Rise of the Resistance is only 40. And Millennium Falcon Smugglers are on is 15. So I think we'll do Galaxy's Edge now because the park doesn't open for another 10 minutes so hopefully we can get in there before the rest of most of the guests i just can't justify waiting 80 minutes for slinky dog at this time in the morning bb8 is everyone assembled good should you be in flight prep recruits thank you for joining the calls a covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Ratu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. But I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. What? We're rolling up. Pokhara Bell personnel, this is your final call of the war. Engage revolvers and hold on. Soon, Lieutenant Mac. As you heard from Ray, Mark. I want to get that up in, huh? Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB8, what do you got? There appear. Retro Blue Fox got a clear path so transport can make the jump.
a bad time to mention that I've never seen Star Wars, but oh my god, Rise of the Resistance was epic. I think that's, it's up there with Tron, honestly, for how good it was. Like, it's very immersive, it's very, it's like you're in the world, but I also wasn't expecting the ride at the end to be as good as it was. Like, it completely took me by surprise. It was very well done, so yeah. If you're a Star Wars fan, obviously do it, and um, if you don't know anything about Star Wars, well, you know enough about Star Wars from pop culture. Um, it was amazing. Go do it. So this is us going to Millennium Falcon, which I assume is this spaceship. God, anyone who really loves Star Wars is gonna absolutely hate me in this vlog. I'm so sorry, I've never seen it, but I know I probably love it. I don't know why I've never taken the time to actually watch it. Wow, this is cool though. This is very cool. My friend Alex is going to be despairing of me in this vlog because he's a massive Star Wars fan. And he's always said that he's gonna sit me down one day and force me to watch all of them. God knows how that's gonna happen because we live in separate countries now, but um, yeah. Alex, I'm sorry for my ignorance today. So, we've gone on single rider to try and beat the queue because it's already 85 minutes. There is no one so far. Although, because my mum, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear me. But uh, because my mum has the ECB, she's had to go on the lightning lane. I assume I can see. Woo! Millennium Falcon was so good and I would advise anyone who doesn't mind being split up to go into single rider because we waited like 30 minutes and the queue right now is like 90 and you only even if, even if you're in one of the motorized scooters or the wheelchair if you're in a motorized scooter or in the wheelchair you can still go the single rider because they'll put you up through the light in lane yeah because the single rider queue is not accessible yeah. And the one of the these chairs and the wheelchair, you sit right outside the the ride itself. Yeah. So you don't have any real distance to walk. No, it was good. And then the lift you walk in the back down by the elevator. Yeah. No, it was really good, and it was so quick. Um, and yeah, again, even if you're not a big Star Wars person, that was good. Like I think for for me now, my three favorites are Tron. Rise of the Resistance and Millennium Falcon. I loved it. I thought it was so good. And these little pork things are so cute. As far as I'm aware, it was something to do with like when they were filming on location, there were loads of like puffins or birds of some sort that they couldn't CGI out. So they just turned them into porgs instead. So cute. So now we are in Toy Story Land and I think we're just gonna have to bite the bullet, get in the queue for Slinky Dog because I don't think it's gonna go down and just see however long it takes. I mean we're already quite lucky that we didn't really wait for anything else this morning. Like it's only 10.30, we've already done Mickey and Minnie's within 10 minutes, we did Rise within like 45 and we've done um, Millennium Falcon in like 30 minutes wait so what we've saved up in queuing there. We can save up all those queues, the time we saved, and put it on Slinky Dog and just hopefully get it done. Slinky Dog. Um, it was good. I wouldn't say it was worth the amount of time we waited for it. We waited for just over an hour and a half, which was a lot, but given that we've already done like the big rides and stuff, that's it's fine. It balances out. It balances out. Yeah, it said it was 140 minutes and we waited like 110. Uh, and we were going to eat at Woody's lunchbox, but 
And yeah, it's Toy Story Land is way too busy, so we're gonna head out of Toy Story Land and just go somewhere else to get some lunch and chill for a little bit and then see what we're doing next. Close. Look how close we are. My goodness. has a jalapeno pretzel and I have the giant donut from Joffrey's that I've been dreaming about. So we're gonna sit and have that. Beauty and the Beast show was great and then we're gonna head to the Indiana Jones show I think. Just to give you guys a frame of reference for size and yes I will eat it all. So the Indiana Jones was full to capacity so we're going to see the Frozen show instead. Well we're still kind of Looking for her. What, what, Looking what's going on? Well, it's getting cold in here, and that can only mean one thing. Saved your sister and yourself. An act of true love will thaw. 
frozen heart. You're my sister, Elsa. I love you. Queen Elsa, these are the... insane to me how we're like we're standing here and obviously this is all in the foreground but if you look down the street it's like this is the building behind it but then you've also got like this little I guess it's supposed to be like a mountain or something that looks like it's really far in the distance there's noises happening behind me. I don't know there's some sort of first order rise of the hunting the resistance or something show that we're here to see. Uh, I don't know any of these characters. I think the one in the mask is Kylo Ren. Or is he the Mandalorian? No, I think he's Kylo Ren. <laughs> my mum's my away to do a wee lap. Go on, do a wee lap of the square. Get your steps in. I think the dude to be a little bit dirty. You off. No, you need to, you were the one that said to me that you need to stre stretch your legs every day. It's not at all so that I can have a seat. 
Well, a disorderly and dysfunctional place, Andrew. Unlike the resistance, which we have all but destroyed, one little remains, I will be crushed. They have no weapons, no armies, no heroes. Oh, it's only a matter of time. Sir. The spy was tracked here. And if she is here, the resistance could be here. You were sent to find her. Sir. But you have failed. Ah! Ah, sir, someone has the information. We will get it. I will get it. Sir. No, Lieutenant. I will get it. You are dismissed. Yes, sir. So we've got our grilled cheeses from Woody's lunchbox. <laughs> Such a convenient spot for me to put my camera. <laughs> Excited. My mum's confused as to why I got a grilled cheese because I don't usually eat like cheese. cheese but I do like grilled cheese. Although, oh god, this is a lot of cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how much cheese does one person need? That's a. That's a lot of soup. Put some pepper in it. Do you want to taste it? Okay. So. shopping mm -hmm. and then we're going to watch Fantasmic. I love that all the lights have started to come on. It's so pretty. Toy Story Land is looking quite pretty all lit up isn't it? All right shopping time. Some frozen ears that I haven't seen before. This is Anna. Anna ears and then up here as well. I didn't film it, but I got these pajamas. Or actually, my mum got me these pajamas as a belated birthday gift in the hotel last night. It's the matching shorts. They're so unbelievably soft, and I love them. Actually, I saw one of these Macs, but it was like the snack Mac, so it has all of the Disney snacks on it, and I really would get it if it wasn't see-through. Like, if this was like a matte color, I would totally get it. I think this is the new color collection because my mum got those ears so it's like the black and gold kind of collection at the moment. I'm still in the, the market for a spirit jersey but I cannot find a pink or purple one. Let's try in this one. Looks promising. It's very, it's giving Minnie Mouse. Yeah, I see lounge flies all along the back wall and I said I was going to treat myself to one spirit jersey and one lounge fly so let's have a look. Now, I just said to my mum, I don't want like a sequined or glittery one. I would like a matte one. And I do like these colours, but Stitch is not necessarily my favourite. Oh, this with all the Disney animals on it is cute though. I think I saw someone somewhere vlogging this type of um, pattern, but on dog bowls. And I really want to find them and buy them for my dog. Well, here's the first pink spirit jersey I found, but it's more like a coral color, and I don't like the glitter. Hmm. My mum just pointed out these ears, which are so cute. And I picked up this pin, which I think is my favorite pin I've ever seen in my life. Pocahontas is my favorite princess, and she's got flit in her hand. I love it. I am also in the market for a new mug, and there's one that I found in the hotel that I really liked. It was a Briar Rose one. But I don't see any that I really like here. The one at the hotel was like the perfect size and shape for the way I take my coffee. But they do have a very good selection. This is the new Disney Eats collection. So we have all the all the pizza. All the pizzas. And then they have this design, which honestly gives me a headache. And then a new spirit jersey with sprinkles. Okay, let's go. We made it to Fantasmic. We still have an hour until it starts, but the theater is definitely filling up already. So I am most definitely 
going to cry at this for two reasons. One, Pocahontas is my favorite princess. She has her own little segment in this. When they changed it and brought it back a couple of years ago, I was so worried that they were going to cut her out. Because you can't find her in like any other place in the parks. And Show Yourself is now in this show. And it is my favorite Disney song. So I've got my favorite song and my favorite princess. And yes, she is princess because she's an Indian princess. In the show. I love Fantasmic.
thy beauty, majesty, but all three lovelier maids I see. This queen of fright! <laughs> And they had a Mulan bit as well that was added in. Just love, 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 love. Could not have loved anymore. So we are heading back to the hotel now. We're absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's madness going to the buses. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next Sunday. So apparently there's projections on here. How how did I not know about this? There's like.
like a projection show of some sort. And we were just completely unaware of it. We heard the fireworks. 